All right, we got a no heat call on a brand new system that we just installed. So hopefully it's something simple. There's, uh, there's the units. Let's go up here and see what we can figure out. Okay, so what I remember about this job as the return that we moved up here, it was actually right here in the wall. You can almost see some marks where they had it patched. So we installed that. I did not install that Sensi thermostat. It's a little small system. It's a two ton, I believe. And we, of course, ran the return up. You can see where it's, it, it used to go straight through. So it was right connected to the furnace and it was really loud. So let's open up the furnace and see what's going on with it. I think I'll turn it on first. Uh-oh. I hear it humming. But the inducer is not running. Stuff blew down in it or something, I guess. I just put my thumb on the end of that little shaft and got it spun loose. So I don't know what kind of shavings or something. I feel like maybe I better take this off and try to look inside. It did fire up. So I'm a little concerned about it doing it again or what might have caused that. Curiosity kills the cat, as they say. Open this up and look. Because I don't know what was stuck in it or what, but. Sounded like some debris blowing around when I did get it going. burners off. I'll open it up now. Can't be a dirt dauber already. guess that they oh that was some kind of little moth or bug or something oh 
Hmm. All right. Got it back together. not quite low enough. Didn't bring a drill, so I need to try to hit the same hole. There we go. Ugh. All right. a little bit of dust or something in there tinkering around when it fired up let's make sure the flame comes back and the fan comes on and we'll leave it pretty sure it got burned off when we were here installing it because well number one uh, they they always do that but number two i didn't smell anything out there in it definitely would smell the first time it fired up. We did a couple of things different here. We took this eight out of the top and ran it different than it was before, before it came out of the back. And all it was doing was coming out of the back of the old plenum and went right across. You had to step across it up there and it went around to the little bonus room which wasn't getting much air. So, you know, as you can imagine, this room needs a lot more air than uh, the average vent will carry. So, we took it out of the end of the plenum or the top, whatever you want to call it, which should give it a more direct feed, make it a little stronger. And they haven't complained at all. So getting rid of the noise, I think here was the biggest thing for them, the way the furnace was right there. I don't think I had any video of it before, but I think we should be okay to put the door back on now and get out of here. Okay, so the guy came home while I was there and I was able to show him a little clip of the video. And uh, I don't see the, I'm not gonna go in his backyard. They, they let their dogs out, but I was able to show him, you know, what was, what was going on. So that kind of restored his faith in train. Uh, none of them are gonna work well when something gets down in them, so. That's kind of what he said. All right, let's go to the next one. Thanks for watching.